When adding and subtracting integers, we must keep two general rules in mind. The first one is same sign sum, which means if the signs are the same, we must find the sum of the numbers, and we also keep the sign when the sign is the same. When the signs are different, we find the difference, and we use the sign of the number with the larger absolute value. However, sometimes when we have many numbers which we have to add or subtract together, a lot of people have a hard time determining whether each number is positive or negative. So let's review how we can figure that out before we actually add the numbers with the same sign and find the difference of the numbers with a different sign. If you look in front of the number, the sign will tell you whether or not it's positive or negative. If it is a positive number, there will simply be either a plus in front of it or plus a positive. Also, if you see minus a negative in front of that number or two consecutive negatives or minuses, then that number is also positive. Now, if the number is negative, you will simply see a single minus sign in front of that number or you will see plus a negative in front of that number. That is how you will know whether or not each number is positive or negative. Now, let's use an example and apply the rules that we just went over. Let's look at this expression and figure out whether each number is positive or negative first. Look at the number 8. In front of the number 8 is a single plus sign, so we know that that is positive. And if we look at the end where it says minus negative 8, we know that two consecutive negatives make a positive, so we can simply turn that minus negative 8 into positive 8. Those would be considered the same sign or both positive, so we add those together. Now when we take a look at all the negatives, the 6 at the beginning has a single negative, therefore it is a negative integer. The 12 has a single minus sign, which also makes that negative. And the 5 says plus negative 5, therefore that is also negative. So when we add all the positives together, we get positive 16. And when we add all the negatives together, we get negative 23. Now we have two values, each having different signs. The 16 is positive, and the 23 is negative. Because the signs are different, we find the difference. And the difference between 23 and 16 is 7. And because we have more negatives than positive, we would say that our answer would be negative 7. Let's review what we just did with the previous problem. We first identified whether each number was positive or negative. Then when we did that, we added all the positives to the positives because of the same sign sum rule, and all the negatives to the negatives because of the same sign sum rule. And at the end, we were left with two integers one positive and one negative, and we subtracted or found the difference because they had different signs. And we used the sign of the number which had a larger absolute value. Let's use one more example so we can apply the rules that we just learned. In this example here, we're going to identify all the positives first. And the first positive that we see is the number 7. And we know this because we see minus a negative directly in front of the 7. And of course, the number 3 is positive as well, because we see a single plus sign in front of that. So we're going to add positive 3 and positive 7 together, which gives us positive 10. Now the next thing we're going to do is identify all the negatives together. We have a negative 8, a negative 4, and a negative 2. Because in front of each one of those numbers, there is a single negative sign, which makes each of those integers negative. And when we add those same signs together, negative 8, negative 4, and negative 2, we come up with the sum of negative 14. Now let's take a look at our different signs. We're going to find the difference of 10 and negative 14. We see that there are more negatives than positives, and we would say there are precisely four more negatives than positives, therefore our answer is negative 4. So remember, when adding and subtracting integers, same sign sum, keep the sign, and different sign difference, and use the sign of the number with the larger absolute value.